Hi, I'm Sean Smith. Today I'm at the Miami Boat Show for the debut of the brand new Beneteau Oceanus Yacht 60. Join me for a walkthrough and tour of this boat. This new 60 is a stunning boat. I'll try to get the whole boat in the shot here. Right now it is right next to the Oceanus Yacht 54 here at the Miami Show. A lot of design similarities. This is like a bigger sibling boat, similar similar lines to the boat, but you'll see, especially when we get inside, a lot of differences. The, the galley, the forward cabin, super exciting. Um, the lines, the transom drop down like the 54 here, where you have this big stainless steel ladder with the teak wood. And in the 60, you have a much larger dinghy garage. So this one currently has a Williams jet tender in it. There's also an area for storage. Also your uh, swim sh uh, ladder and then shower over on the port side. Optional is a passerelle, which is extended here for the show. Let's board through the steps here and I'll pan across the cockpit. Incredible space here. This boat was specced with an optional rigid bimini that has fiberglass, lights, and then a retractable center section that you can stop at any point along the track. In these new designs from Beneteau, we have a central cockpit layout where there's this nice path through the middle, out around each helm station, and then all the way up to the deck. Both sides are similar, so that way you do not interrupt whoever is at the helm. Simply can pass through and up forward to the bow. At the helm, your starboard helm is the primary helm station. This is where our throttle control is located. This boat's equipped with the Yanmar 150 horsepower diesel engine. You have a engine data display just below the throttle, bow and stern thruster controls. This is a chain counter for your electric windlass. And then you also have the Raymarine multifunction display. Something really cool and unique to this boat are all the uh, four electric winches. You have controls to them at both helm stations. And then you also have um, controls for your electric furlers uh, as well. Outboard are the electric winches we just mentioned with all of the lines led off to these two helm stations. So all of this seating area and lounging area is completely safe and free of any lines. On top of the main sheet arch is, of course, the main sheet, well out of the way of any, any guests in the cockpit. Over on the port side home station, we have some similarities, like the large Raymarine multifunction display, the winch control buttons, but here you have all of your lights, courtesy lights, foredeck, underwater, bimini as well. Really nice to have this illumination over the top. And of course, spreaders and garage as well. The feel of these buttons and how they illuminate is very, very nice. Your autopilot control is here, a compass, the passerelle control, and then also buttons to lift and drop the table. So as I press this, you can see this table is dropping down. So we could put it into the function of the starboard table with a lounge cushion on top. These tables also fold open to create a nice dining area. I really like that when they're closed, you have secure handholds all the way around as well as four cup holders in each table. Um, before we move forward, there is storage under here and then an optional refrigerator in the cockpit. This is a really nice feature of the new 60. Coming up forward, this boat has a Dodger, Bimini, everything, all the canvas already. And then these are the factory cockpit cushions that have a folding uh, leaf in the back. So, and you can flip this 180 degrees. So if you're cruising, you can lounge and look forward with the autopilot remote in hand. And you also have three more cup holders on each side. The boat has teak decks and a teak coach roof. There are cushions that you can put up on the bow as well and have a nice lounge area up on the deck. I will come down into the interior, which is magnificent. I'll pan across this whole salon area.
Really beautiful interior with the light oak wood. Great feature, similar to the previous flagship, is this navigation station with the swiveling seat. You also have the option of another chart plotter here and the electrical is hidden, which is really nice to have your DC panel and the Schieber panel for electricity, tank monitoring, really, really great system. And the boat also has ship control, which is a brilliant system to monitor the lights, your air conditioning, navigation, music, uh, battery voltage. You can see here, we have it on the air conditioning system. So we can set the air conditioning temperature in the different zones of the boat. Really beautiful screen. And then lots of lounge space here. So you have an electric table to have either low coffee table or a large dining table as this table does also open up. You've got a bar here in the center, lots of storage inside, and then in a really comfortable settee over on the starboard side with a pop-up TV behind it. Now working into the galley, the galley is forward on this boat and can allow multiple people to be working. Off to the port side, you have a really nice stainless steel refrigerator and then extra refrigeration forward. Another drawer, which is the freezer, and this one has an ice maker in it. So this panel right here is for the water maker on board, which you can run off of AC or DC power. And then lots of storage, soft closed drawers. And really nice latches and feels. This is just really solid. And then you also have a locking mechanism on that top drawer. This is your wine fridge with two zones. And then another storage area. Moving across, you just have so much space in here. A large countertop here. This is a great entertaining area. If someone's in the galley, they could be entertaining their guests. Great place to serve and just a tremendous amount of storage here as well. All of these cabinets, cutlery there, gimbaled stove and oven with a hood on it. Lots of storage. And then you have a big stainless steel sink, the freshwater tap, and you can also do a salt water. Moving into the forward master cabin, this is a spectacular area. As we walk in, the bed is flipped around so your feet are forward. There's a, a path to walk all the way around the bed. Easy boarding for two people. You have your stereo control and uh, also USB so you can always charge your devices. Really nice accents here and then a TV right on that forward bulkhead. Off to the port side is a tremendous amount of storage. Lots of drawers all the way back here. This one actually has a second shelf on top. And then an enormous hanging locker here that the lights come on when you open it. And also has a dedicated area for longer clothing items like dresses to drop down optional safe in there and then a private head with a large separate shower the finishing in here is beautiful as well as the lighting you see that light led light bar antique wood inside this shower a couple of storage shelves super super nice and the layout of this head is really comfortable but a really special thing about the design here is you have a lot of separation from the bulkhead here to the salon having the head in between so somebody sleeping up forward is going to be separate and quiet it's very private and then also forward of this bulkhead is a captain's quarters so by moving the bed the opposite direction the guests heads are far from the 
a crew cabin, which is another nice element for privacy and quiet while you're in here resting. Moving aft, we have two cabins, both with their own heads. Very spacious. This is probably seven feet tall in here as I'm standing. Large windows with a blackout shade and another large storage locker, hanging locker. This has a private head with a separate shower. And the starboard side has a private head that can also be used as the day head as there is a door located in this corridor that you don't have to go through the cabin. So another separate shower. The toilets can be fresh or salt water flush. And a unique thing about this aft cabin is the center section can be removed of this bed so you can have two singles or one large double berth. Last thing we'll take a look at is the engine room. Very nice, very clean. Yanmar turbo diesel and easy access to the raw water strainer. There are doors on both sides of this engine room. Really beautiful engine from Myanmar. Thank you for joining me on this tour of the brand new Veneto Oceanus Yacht 60. Feel free to reach out with any questions about the boat. I look forward to talking to you soon.